tutorial so in this video i will be showing you how to listen basic microstrip antenna so before that you just know uh, a microstrip basically consists of a ground layer then uh, on top of the ground layer it, there will be a substrate and on top of that you have your patch layer okay so here the ground and patch will be of same material basically and we will be choosing copper as the material and substrate we have a different options depends upon the material available in the library you can use the different um, substrate material basically we will be using uh, FR4 or uh, Roger kind of material so in this design I am going to use uh, RT Droid 58580 it's a Roger material so let's get started so open CST uh, I'm using CST 2019 and you have an option like new template click on new template you are getting a new window so in order to design the microstrip you need to choose microwaves and RF optical and you will be getting an option like this you choose the antennas click next then we have different types of antenna like wire face that are reflector you need to choose planar because microstrip is a patch antenna and you choose planar patch slot etc so choose the second option click next now we have different mode of analysis like time domain frequency domain and multi-layer analysis so the default option is time domain and we are going for time domain analysis so choose time domain click next and these are the different units and their uh, dimensions so keep this as the default settings no need to change any changes here and click next now this is an important part and it this first it has frequency range the minimum frequency as well as the maximum frequency and once you design the antenna you have some set of equations to find out the length and width of the patch so you do the calculation based upon your resonance frequency so suppose if you are designing antenna for 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz then the frequency range minimum value you set it as 1 and the maximum value may you just set it as 6 so the resonance frequency should be within the range of that okay so that's why that's how you see the s11 value okay so i'm going to use 1 to 6 basically 1 to 6 because i'm, I'm planning for uh, resonance frequency within that particular range and monitors basically you will be using e field monitor h field monitor as well as far field monitor so these are the basic three monitors we use all right so now click next finish it so this is the initial setup now it will load all the settings and now you are getting the last port now in order to design the antenna first i am going to create the substrate then i will be placing the ground under that and the patch over the substrate okay so go to modeling okay so click on the brick button first button that is brick button and press one in the dashboard one time in the dashboard and click uh, press escape button so you are getting a option like this in the right corner i'm giving uh i'm going to create substrate so i'm giving the name as substrate and now i'm going to give the value so i already done the calculation so i'm giving the value as minus 50 to 50 so the total value becomes the width is 100 okay and i'm going to give the length of the substrate again i'm going to give 50 to 50 minus 50 to 50 m total it's 100 so the length and width is 100 mm so it is a square substrate okay and the thickness i'm giving here it is minus 1.575 all right to zero that means i'm keeping zero as the reference length and the thickness as 1.57 so it is below the reference line okay that's it so they can you can make it as 1.57 uh keeping the substrate or on top of the reference line doesn't matter how you are doing it okay and i'm choosing the material uh load like material from the library and i'm using rt okay rt5880 lossy material it's a roger material and remember the epsilon value is uh, 2.2 okay and for uh, fr4 it is 4.3 i'm using this 2.2 which i think which provide better results load the material then click ok and you can see that uh, the substrate is created which is in white color again i'm repeating the step go to modeling click brick click one time in the dashboard press escape again the same window will be coming this time giving the name as ground and I'm giving the dimension just like uh, the substrate I'm giving 50 to 50 as the width and uh, length as 
minus 50 to 50 just like uh, you are substrate and the thickness I'm giving is now the thickness of substrate is 0 to minus 1.575 and I'm keeping the thickness of this particular ground as 1 mm so adding 1 mm to this value so minus 1.675 so minus 1.575 to 675 so the total thickness of the ground is 0.1 mm okay i'm going to choose the material as copper so search here copper yeah it is here copper anneal lossy metal then i'm loading that all right you can see the preview here okay and click okay so the metal is created actually in the back side and you can see here inside the components substrate is created and copper yellow color so that is the ground is created okay fine now i'm going to create the patch so the same step go on the link click on break click once in the dashboard press escape button yeah you know, get in the same window give the name as patch all right and i'm going to give a different value based upon my calculation it's 49.4 by 2 49.2 sorry 49.4 by 2 so that is the width of the patch and I'm giving the length as minus 41.3 by 2 and the upper value as 50 and the thickness is same as the ground that is 0.1 and the material is same copper you can see the preview fine so click ok so patch is created now i need to fix a feed line so i'm going for inset feeding so i need to cut away a few portions from here and then i'm fixing the feed line okay so i'm going to cut away a few portions so again i'm going to create a material sorry i'm create uh, a brick i'm giving it name as cut because i'm going to cut away i'm giving the name for the remember and i'm giving the dimension value like uh, minus 3.5 to 3.5 that should be the width and the length is minus 41.3 by 2 to 41.3 by 2 plus 14.5 okay I just give it the value and the thickness is 0 0.1 because I'm cutting the patch material. Let's see the preview. Yeah, it's like yeah, I need to change the value I think. Yeah. It's minus. All right. Now, uh, in order to cut away the highlighted portion, you need to choose a different value, a material. So, load the library, search for nickel. So, always, if you want to uh, cut away some portion, choose a different material. So, nickel I am choosing. Okay. Then see the preview, and uh, this is the portion. And if you click OK, uh, the portion will goes to green color, and you are getting an option like cut away highlight option choose that in the last option and click ok and you can see that that particular portion is cut away from the patch all right now we need to now we need to add a micro strip feed okay so in not micro strip we are going for an insert feed so again click on brick okay create then uh, we need to give the name as feed and i'm giving uh, the x value as minus 4.85 by 2 as per calculation and the upper limit as 4.85 by 2 and the length as i'm keeping it as minus 50 to 0 all right and the thickness as 0 to 0 0.1 i'm going to see the preview so over here and choose the material as your 
ground or patch which is copper and click ok and you can see that this material is created now i need to add the patch as well as this particular feed so select patch now that particular patch is selected go to boolean and you can see add option is there click on add then come to the second portion select feed okay press enter now you can see that it is a single material now okay so so the insert feed is connected now you need to create a port so choose this rotate option on uh, which is available in the bottom side third option and just rotate little bit and just zoom the end of this particular feed all right and go to pick pick face choose this area that is opening of the feed area okay and go to home macros go to solver go to ports calculate port extension as a second option and it will automatically detect that the width and the height of that particular feed line and uh, sorry uh, width of the feed line as well as the height of the substrate and the kind of material used is 2.2 that is RT5880 so all the values are it automatically detected and you can calculate the coefficient and you can manually uh, give the dimensions for creating the port or automation automated uh, uh, automate the creation of port is available so construct port from pick to face if you click on that it will automatically create the port for you okay fine so csd to create the ports you can see the port is created here all right so now everything is over let's go for the simulation so let's start simulation just wait for a few minutes okay so the simulation is completed let's check uh, the s11 value so you can access the result go to one dimensional results and you created uh, you can see uh, s parameter over there so click on s parameter you can see s11 so choose that you can see the result is over here so you can see we have multiple resonation point so let's mark use the marker okay so i just add a curve marker so this is one resonation point and you can see the frequency is 4.1 and we have another one resonation point basically we will be looking at minus 10 dB line and so this is one particular resonation point and it is nearly 4.3 and we have one resonation point with the maximum vswr so it is 5.8 so multiple frequency we are getting resonation points so uh, so this is how you look at the s11 result uh, you can adjust the parameter value or you go for creating some defective ground or you go for creating some slots in the patch so you can go for different different uh, changes and you can cook up this result like not cook up you can able to you know adjust the result value so that, that is called optimization of that particular antenna okay you can do that uh, you can go for increasing the directivity increasing the gain or increasing the bandwidth you can go for that and even you can uh, you can change the substrate material from uh, roger to fr4 or you can go for the thick, increasing the thickness of the substrate so we have different kinds of mechanism to improve the para uh, performance of this antenna and if you want to look at uh, the powerful properties just like um, the directivity and gain you just click on the far field and default uh, the range i given is one to six so it it's separated it's used three different frequencies and you can see that at one gigahertz the directivity is six db and if you change the directivity to gain so it is minus three db gain you are getting for one one gigahertz frequency and just look it for um, 3.5 gigahertz you're getting a gain of 5.6 very good and i can see the directivity of 7 db and at the frequency of 6 db i'm getting the directivity of 6.4 and as well as the gain of 5.1 db so this is how the performance uh, far field results look like and you can adjust you can see this is 3d model and you can see the 2d 
and you can see the Cartesian and also you can see polar okay and I already posted a video uh, how to draw this polar chart of the gain and directivity so you can refer that video for for drawing the results in uh, your research papers all right so these are the basic thing we look at and if you want to see the VSW bar you can see here VSW value okay in the resonation point the VSW bar we will be basically looking at 2 and all the resonation point you will be getting the value nearly equal to 2 here of course okay so this is the design and uh, how we will checking the results so i hope you enjoy this video and in upcoming videos i will be showing you how to improve the directivity gain and uh, the, especially the bandwidth and how you can able to adjust the antenna and you can able to get the proper resonation point so we'll be looking at uwb by ultra wide band antennas basically okay so thanks for watching and uh, if you like this video kindly subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you will be getting a notification so thanks for watching my video thank you